Yo, what's up YouTube? My name is Ransom. I'm here with a real quick tutorial. I want to show you guys how you can actually record any audio or analyze any audio that comes through your computer output. So that could be from Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud, YouTube, you name it. And uh, it will be in a perfect replica of that sound. So what I personally use this for is to analyze Spotify songs and kind of get an idea of where the the mix is sitting so i use it for reference see where the bass is sitting see where the mids are sitting see where the highs are sitting and uh yeah just really use it for reference so to get started i have a link in the description for you guys uh click that link scroll all the way down <clears throat> and there's a soundflower.dmg file so go ahead and click that and uh basically soundflower is a virtual input output so i'll show you how to how to use this here so once you get that DMG uh, installed, go ahead and open it up. And the important part here is to right click on the .pkg file and hit open. And then go ahead and hit open again and follow this installation process. I already have it installed. So the next step is to set our output of our computer to Soundflower. So in order to do that, you can do it up here in this little sound box here and hit Soundflower 2 channel. Um, otherwise, you can go to the Apple icon, System Preferences, Sound, and on the Output tab, select Soundflower 2 Channel. And that's going to send all output, any output from your computer through the Soundflower virtual um, output. Now we're going to use Logic Pro X as an input to either record or analyze any of the signal that comes through. So open Logic, come to Logic Pro X, Preferences, and Audio. And for the input device, select Soundflower 2 channel. For the output device, have either built-in output or your interface selected. And uh, hit apply. And from there, we're going to add a blank uh, audio track. Now we need this to be a stereo audio track. So in the inspector tab here, make sure uh, there's two circles overlapping here. So we got a stereo channel. Now... Uh, in order for us to hear any audio we're playing, we need to hit this little I input monitoring button here. Now, if you don't have it, you're going to need to right click on the audio track, come down to track header components and do and check input monitoring. So I'm going to go over to Spotify real quick. And this is my new single Love Lost. If you guys want to take a listen, you're more than welcome to. Uh, you're actually not going to hear anything um, when I hit play because uh, the way I have everything routed up here. So um, I'm going to hit play and I'm going to go back to logic and you can see we're getting the signal, but we can't hear anything. So we need to hit the input monitoring uh, button and now you'll be able to hear it. And from there, I mean, you could record if you wanted to. So if I hit R, we're getting an exact replica of the sound. I mean, pretty much exact, perfect replica. Um, or if you just want to monitor uh, what you're hearing, you can go to the audio effects here, uh, metering and multimeter. And this will allow you to um, analyze the frequencies and kind of get an idea where the lows are sitting, where the mids and the highs are sitting. And, you know, I like to use this for reference um, to get a, a good master going. So, yeah. Um, I hope this helped. If you guys are all finished up uh, with your with analyzing and recording there, you can always come back up to uh, your your audio tab and then change it back to your headphones or your output, whatever your main output is. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys learned something. If you did, please leave a like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys are having a great day. Peace.